Hello, it's Mr. Mabry, and this is our final pathogen in our Meet the Pathogen notes. And the name of this sucker is Virus. And here is a real picture of a virus that looks real creepy like a UFO drawing. Ooh. Now, if you're wondering what a virus looks like um, in, our, in our version, this is sort of our computer, whoa, regenerated version of this virus. And if you want to go ahead, yeah, we'll move on. These are actually all the different way viruses look. So that one cool robot -y, scary version is one way, but these are different DNA viruses and something called RNA viruses. So they come in all shapes and sizes, but this guy here is my favorite. Now, as far as eukaryote or prokaryote, well, that's a question mark you should put in your note page. We're not quite sure whether to consider them alive. The reason is um, viruses reproduce, which is cool, but they need a cell in order to do that. And they have nuclear material in either DNA or something called RNA, but without other cells or without a host, they can't reproduce. And as far as growing and replicating, well, if they have a cell, it'll replicate parts for them, but they don't make their own parts. So there's this, this weird coming together of viruses doing things similar to living cells, but also dissimilar. So there's a big question mark. They're definitely not eukaryotes though, and they're not prokaryotes. There's something else entirely. As far as reproduction, you can write down cell takeover, and also for um, the harmful column, cell takeover. The method of their reproduction is what makes them so deadly for us. So in order to treat or prevent viruses, what we do is we'll take vaccines to prevent them. And if you get a virus, to be honest, there's not, there's not a lot you can do to treat it. Um, now, there are some, for some really heinous viral infections, there are antivirals or against virus medicines you can take. Um, and there's a lot of tricky ways that they, they trip up the viruses. But for most of us, when we get a cold or other viral infections, we just try to sleep and hydrate and we'll buy over-the-counter medication to treat our symptoms. But we're just waiting for our body to fight it off on its own. So let's meet some of the nasty boogers now. There were some of the pictures I showed you earlier of different types of viruses. And what they do is a virus will land on your cell and then lower itself down and boom, it shoots its bacteria or its DNA inside your cell. And in this case, this is a picture of a bacterial virus invading bacteria. So haha, -ha, bacteria, a pathogen fighting a pathogen. What will they think of next? But the process is the same, whether it's them or us. It's a lot like the movie The Matrix. If you haven't seen this movie, you are missing out. It came out in 1999, a year or two before most of you were born. Um, and in this movie, the bad guy can replicate himself thousands upon thousands of times. Um, Agent Smith here to fight, whoa, to fight Neo, the good guy. And that is exactly what a virus does. When a virus invades our cell, it sticks its DNA inside, and then its DNA mixes with the cell's DNA, and then the cell is tricked into making bacterial parts. So all those organelles we learned about, all the ribosomes, all the smooth and rough ER, the mitochondria, all start working for the virus and starts making little baby viruses till it gets bigger and bigger and then the cell pops out with all these baby viruses and they swarm all over the place and you get sicker and it's bad. So you might be thinking, um, how do we fix this? Well, there are ways to fix this, but don't worry, it's, it's not in this note cycle yet because it's a little tricky. In fact, I want to introduce you now to one of the most heinous viruses out there, the human immunodeficiency virus, or as you know of it, HIV. So why? And here's a picture of HIV. And HIV looks like a little different than the virus I showed you, but it's the same thing. See here, it's landing, sticking its virus inside, going inside the nucleus, mixing its DNA in here, and then convincing the cell to make new HIV and shooting out. What makes HIV so gnarly, though, is it infects T cells. T cells are the cells in your immune system that fight off viruses. So it's like, if you're a criminal, these guys take out all the cops, so then no one's left, and anybody can ravage the body, which is what happens when you have HIV. Um, this looks tricky. Let's skip this for today. 
So here are all the different things um, that happens when you get AIDS. You get an infection in your eye, you'll often get pneumonia, tuberculosis, you'll get skin and lung tumors, you'll get chronic diarrhea, you'll get more things going on in your gut, and it's all because all the cops are gone in your immune system and other stuff is coming in. And if you're wondering the difference between HIV and AIDS, HIV is the name of the virus that causes autoimmune deficiency syndrome or AIDS. And what happens is once they say the 200 um, count of cops or T cells in your body drops below 200, they now say you have such a decrepit immune system, you have AIDS. And like I said, usually it's opportunistic infections that come along and kill you, not the HIV virus itself. And if you're wondering how you get HIV, it's through fluids. Um, semen, vaginal secretions, blood, breast milk, these are all the fluids that carry HIV. If you happen to use drugs, you can get it through needles. If you get a blood transfusion, happened more in the 1980s, not so much now. Or if you are a mama with HIV, um, it can cross the placental barrier and go into your fetus. Now, fortunately, we have started coming up with some expensive antivirals that can be used to prevent HIV. Um, they're still being tested out, but this is some promising area of research that I'm sure I'll have to be updating this video in the next couple of years because things keep coming out with ways to outwit the HIV virus. Let's talk another type of virus now. Um, you've all heard of influenza, which we always shorten to say the flu. As you know, coughing people transmit the flu. What you might not know is flu is even more gnarly than HIV. Um, there are three separate pandemics of flu that have killed off more people in the world than all the world wars combined. The Spanish flu, 1980, 1920, 40 million people. Asian flu, Hong Kong flu. I mean, it's just been nuts. And every year the flu changes because the viruses adapt. This tricky little guy will change up the little carbohydrate chains on his um, outer shell. And so we always are constantly finding different ways to fight off the flu. As if you didn't know what flu did. Headache, fever, muscular aches, your joints ache. I'm sure all of you guys have could list these off. You probably had the flu before. Here he comes. He's coming in, going into the nucleus, saying, nucleus, hey, use all your ribosomes and gold your bodies. Make me new little flus and poof, popping out baby flus inside your body. Now, a little, little lighter weight viral infection here is a common cold. Um, there's over 250 varieties, so just like the flu, there's tons of types of viral infections that are common colds. Similar to flu, it's all about coughing in the air or by touching contaminated surfaces. And it's similar symptoms, but as you know, it tends to be just less severe, and you look like this guy for a couple days. So, in the last column of your virus notes, let's go ahead and write down these reminders. HIV is the viral infection that gives you AIDS. Influenza. Um, we have vaccines to prevent them because we don't want another worldwide pandemic. And common colds, they're not as hardcore. They change a lot, so we don't make vaccines for the common cold because it changes so often. We just have to gut it out like this guy, and it tends to be milder. So there you go, folks. You now have a broad overview of all three types of the pathogens we're focused on, bacterial, fungal, and viral. So now it's time to take the knowledge of these three types and to apply it to specific situations um, and come up with some cures. Stay tuned. It's going to be a fun ride.